This Start conference this call. will now be recorded. I hope everyone had an awesome weekend, and uh, you know, it's 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 a beautiful day. So, can you guys hear me? I want to make sure you guys can hear me. Do 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 do. Doctor B, can you hear me? Yep, sure can. Okay, fantastic. Just wanted to make sure. All right. So um, once again, as always, thank you guys so very much for coming on the call. And today's call actually is is our conclusion of the whole uh, moving mountains thing, right? So uh, today, you know, that's it. We're 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 moving into another. Area. I mean, all of these different areas that we're moving to, or will change from, will 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 morph into. They're they're all just different ways of saying the same thing. And one of the things that I wanted to do at the end of um, this, you know, moving mountains, is to uh, give each and every person that comes on the call. So for everyone listening to this call after. Um, uh, you know, so the the re-recording or, or whatever you want to refer to it as, um, you're not going to be able to get the stuff that I'm going to give to the people that took their time to come on to the call. Okay, so it's just I, I just I think that it's best to do it that way, um, simply because if someone takes their time, finds a way to come on the call, then I think that they're deserving of more. Right. Um, thank, you know, you, thank, it, you, it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So, if you're not on this call, you're 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 listening to it later. Sorry, folks. Um, but for those of you who are on the call, I'm going to make this really really simple. And I thought about this um, a lot actually because I don't want to hold anybody hostage, right? So I don't want to hold anybody hostage. So the the title of this call is all of my info is yours for free and i mean that in the literal sense right so it's not like i'm just saying it i'm telling you everything that i use if you guys read everything in the body of the uh, email that went out everything i use right here right now to make money i'm going to just give it to you so the information thank that you I use, uh, you're, you're welcome um so Anybody who wants it, you, you, all you have to do is um, text me, right? And this is the text that you're going to text me, which is simply going to be your, your first and last name, your email address, so I can email everything to you. Um, and in there, just um, say, uh, send me all your stuff, right? And I'm literally going to send you um, everything that I'm using currently to make to make money. And so... I just mentioned a moment ago that I don't want to hold anybody hostage. So I'm going to tell you guys just like this. You don't have to be on this call. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want you to feel like, you know, okay, this guy's going to keep me on the call to the end of the call in order to, you know, get, you know, all the information that he's going to send me. Um, honestly, you can get off the call right now and I'll still send everything to you. You know, all you have to do is just text me, as I mentioned, 951 515 4728. And you're going to have to text me between uh, now and 11 o'clock. And the reason being is because after 11 o'clock, um, I should have this call uh, downloaded and then placed on my Facebook and a few other places, and I don't want anybody listening to it and then subsequently thinking they can still get in because it's the same day. So between now and 11 o'clock, um, which should give you plenty of time, all you have 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, so California time, and it is 9.06 right now, so it gives you, you know, a sigh of, of two hours to text me. And once again, you can text me at 951-515. 4728-951-515-4728. If you just simply text me, um, first and last name, email address, and just put, um, send me all your stuff in that text, then I'll send you everything. And so the reason I'm doing it this way is I just, I hate 
I hate hate with a passion when somebody makes me personally hang on a call with with that you know um, scarcity tactic where they're saying if you stay to the end we got a special gift for you I, you know screw that so your special gift is that you came on this call for a minute two minutes three minutes five whatever it is eight minutes seven, you know in order to hear me tell you all you need to do so anytime you want to get off the call get off the call and it's not a problem i'll still send you everything so let me give you a quick example of what i'm i'm going to send you all so as everybody knows you know there's three areas that i generate capital in and those three areas are um the cpn game it still works for me it works wonderfully um it is uh, uh, you know, some years it's it's over six figures. Some years it's right under six figure business for me. And so, what I'm literally going to give you is um, how you can create them yourself. Boom, it's yours, right? It's a pain in the ass to do it. So I'm going to tell you up front. Um, I don't even bother creating them myself. <laughs> so I have a person that creates them. And my cost factor on getting them created is under five bucks a pop, right? So you can literally, and keep that in mind, I mean, I pay less than $5, and for less than $5, I sell them subsequently for um, $150 retail, $75 wholesale, and, and down depending on how many people buy. So if somebody buys like uh, my block of 10 program, if they're a broker, they pay me $500. And for that $500 that someone's paying me, my cost factor is like 50 bucks, right? So five times, it's actually less than that, but just for easy math, we're gonna round up to $50. So that's a $450 profit for literally Right for literally doing one thing, and that is to um, um, send out something just literally by email, right? To send out something to somebody that I bought for five bucks, and they're paying me anywhere from seventy-five dollars to one hundred fifty dollars. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you where you can actually go yourself and get them for 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 that price tag if that's what you desire to do. Um, I'll also send you some people where I get my trade lines from, right? I'm just going to give those people to you, and you can do what you want. I'm going to send you a bunch of material. Um, so that is one of the things that I do. Uh, also, as you you know know that you know, credit repair is something that that um, I don't really bother with much, to be honest with you. But it's something that I I I still do for people. I just don't do it personally, right? I have someone else that does it for me, and 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 I you know I share in the profits with that person. And so I'm um, joy by the you know so I'm not holding anything back. And and the deal is, but when I when I was doing credit repair, um. I'm going to send you the place where I get, where I got all my, it's, the, it's literally for $39, you know, it is, it is the best credit repair information you can get. People spend so much time, effort, and money, and energy, you know, buying these expensive softwares and all this other stuff, and you can literally buy these pre-canned letters, right? You can get the book that is, in my humble opinion, um, one of the greatest informational books on credit repair ever. And I literally use that book to make a lot of money um, until I just got to the point where I just didn't want to bother with it, right? Because for me personally, um, it's like, why? You know what I mean? It, it's it's a long-term thing, right? I have to keep on dealing with a person for, for months and months and months and months. And to be honest with you, I don't want to. I just don't want to deal with anybody that long. And then, so, and then last but not least is, um, and this is kind of like a two-parter thing, which is uh, I do um, business coaching and development um, as well as, uh, you know, it, it, the way I term it is this. I, I say personal 
in entrepreneurial development and coaching. So that's kind of like my little catchphrase. But a great part of that has to do with my my primary tagline when I'm advertising to people is thirty thirty thousand to $300,000 um, is what I can help them go after. And, and the deal is I'm going to give you guys the – the you know where I learned it from, right? So I'm going to give you guys the information. That, you know, it's, and I'm going to tell you up front. It's a, it's a. I'm not saying that the the name because it's actually, you know, it's material that I actually purchased for um, a couple thousand dollars uh, years and years ago. The process is the exact same, right? It, when I first learned how to create business lines of credit. The process is it still works to this very day, and I'm going to give that to you um, that information, which is which is you know still where I get my information from on how the whole um, business credit thing works. Period. And then I'm also going to give you a wealth of information on on corporate credit. Now, so when it comes to the corporate credit and it comes to the business credit, the process. Is, is still the same. Nothing's changed uh, except for the entities, right? Some of the entities, the places where you can go, the institutions, the banks, the companies where you can get, or get money from or, or get credit from, some of them are no longer around. But the exact same process still works. So I will send that to you as well. And you can know exactly what I do for my clients, um, you know, to to help them get their money. Now, they are either going to have to have, when it comes to business credit, they're going to have to have a credit file that looks a certain way. Like I have, I have in other words, a real 700 plus FICO score. Right? I mean, it can be done. So let's say a person has, uh, they're going after business line of credit, credit cards, and they have a 680 FICO score. Yeah, they can get credit, but it has to be a, a, a complete score. In other words, they have, they have true things going on. As I've mentioned to you all in the past, you know, credit is, is a three dimensional thing. And so a lot of people say, well, I have a 750 FICO score, let's say, but I'm saying to them, Yes, you do, but your credit is 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 a 750. But the problem is, you it's just going to be hard for you to get money. You can go out and get a car because that's something they can come back and get. But to get unsecured monies, right, it becomes more difficult because you have a 750 FICO score, and that's based on three things, right? Even if it's based on five things, but you know, two or three of those things are authorized user accounts. They don't care, right? Because you don't have enough showing that you're out in the world doing things and are trustworthy. Because that's really what credit is 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 based upon. You know how trustworthy are you? Um, so, you know, a person's credit has to look a certain way. Like I have a a few clients that um, um, I forgot to to yeah do the little screen dealio here. So I have a few clients that that um, I deal with, and you know they're going. Well, but Pascal, my credit score is high, and I'm saying yes, your credit score is high, but the problem is you have a thin file, and a thin file once again means that you have the height, but you don't have any true width. Right, you know, because even even the depth, which is which is the age of a of a credit file, is important. It's very important. But um, you know, if you have a couple of years of history, but you have a um, a broad file. In other words, you have you know like six, seven, um, eight different things going on that are your things. You know, that's when you're winning, right? Because they see that you are, you yourself are responsible. You know, so I try to explain to people that getting authorized user accounts is very, very important, but it's important for helping you elevate your score. It's important to help you push your score upwards, right, to, to enhance what you already have going on, right? Or you can utilize an, um, an AU, authorized user account, when you're, 
uh, starting off, you want to get a couple of small store cards. It's great for that type of thing, too. But overall, it is an enhancement. It is not to be looked upon as something where you're saying, oh, my God, I have this 750 FICO score because I have three AUs or two AUs or whatever it is. You know, it, it, okay, so what? No one cares. Right, because that's credit that's showing, but it's not yours. You're piggybacking on somebody else's stuff, and so, um, you know, I'm telling you all this stuff because it's important. Because I'm not going to be coaching you when you get this material from me, and so I want you to have this stuff in your mind. So when you're reading and going through this information that I'm going to send you guys, then you need to have a, a, a complete understanding of it. You know, once again, if you can have a 680 FICO score and literally raise, you know, tens of thousands of dollars with a 680 FICO score, but it has to be a 680 FICO score that is built upon real stuff, right? I have a car. I have a, a store card or two. I'm making my payments on time. I have a couple of little credit cards. You know, that's what they want to see. They want to see that you are actually out there making stuff happen, and then subsequently they will take a chance on you, right? And what, what the enhancement of an of a, a authorized user account will do is it will help you elevate your score and push age onto your file, which is just an enhancement. And when that happens, you will be able to get larger approved for larger lines, right? So, but all this material, it, it explains it, but I just wanted to explain it in a clearer fashion because for some reason, some people don't catch it all, right? It becomes overwhelming to them. Um, and so, once again, I'm going to repeat this. So you're on the call right now. You don't have to stay on the call. I don't care. You know, if you just text me, because um, I'm going to send you the information because you're on the call. Um, if you just text me uh, first, last name, and your email address, and put in that text so I can, um, you know, um, separate that text from other texts I receive through the course of the day. If you put in that text, send me all of your information or info, then I'm going to send you a boatload of stuff, which is literally what I use right now every day. And and so, uh, once again, the first bit of information, um, you know, that you're going to get is, you know, where I buy my um, CP and stuff from, and you can do the same thing. Uh, the second thing is, um, uh, you know, what I'm just talking about, all this information on on um, credit repair, I'm going to show you where you can go. It's 39 bucks, I think it is. 29 or 39 bucks, you can buy it. Best credit information in the world. You don't have to spend any more than that because you, all the letters are pre-canned. They're ready to go. You make some alterations on them in your computer, and you, you're in the credit repair business if you so desire. Best, best stuff ever, 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 ever. I've removed bankruptcies with it. I've removed um, only once, but you know, child support with it. I've removed just a wealth of things, and it's just sending out some stupid letters, but I always send everything out registered. Um, that way it starts the clock, right? A lot of people send, you know, credit repair letters out and they don't send it registered. I want that green card to come back to my client base for a couple of reasons. A, because the clock has started. B, because they know um, I'm working on this stuff, right? Because there's nothing like getting something from the USPS saying, um, this, you had a letter that was dropped off at Experian, Equifax, TransUnion, Innovis, um, you know, uh, SafeStream, whoever, you know, all these different, you know, credit um, um, agencies that are out there. So you're going to get all that crap. Um, you're also going to get, well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a wealth of information on um, uh, corporate credit. Now, in these days and times, corporate credit, is um uh oh you know what I'm giving you guys something that's really really awesome. Um uh corporate credit is not what it used to be. Um back in the day I could build up a corporate credit file uh within months and go out and get like you know back in the day uh Key Bank was really good about giving out corporate credit cards and it was real easy to get a five thousand dollar um uh, key bank MasterCard for your corporation, meaning that there is no guarantor, right? But so corporate credit has changed, and, and I, I'm not saying that you will never be able to get 
corporate credit that is based purely on the good standing of the corporation, you can, but in these days and times, it's a, it's a bill to that, to that state of affairs, right? And even then, um, it's rare to be able to get, um, you know, like credit cards, you know, unsecured money, uh, from, from corporate credit, right? So, but what you can get are vehicles, property, you know, you name it. Uh, I have a guy, Damien, who actually has come on board to be one of my coaches in the corporate credit arena. And I met Damien, Damien, um, shit, I, I probably, 15, 16 years ago, and I set up one of his first corporations for him back then. And so um, out of the blue, he called me up. Uh, he wanted me to look at, at his corporate file that he'd been building up. You know, he's really good at it, and he's diligent about his, what he does. So and I, I took a look at it, and um, I was like, okay, I don't know what the hell I'm looking for, but it looks good to me. But he took that corporate file, which is a couple of years old, and when I saw him last, um, which was uh, two Saturdays ago, I believe, um, so not this past Saturday, but the Saturday prior to that, um, at this um, at this um, at this class, basically that this CDC, which stands for Community Development Corporation, holds, and it's all about building up your your business and and business how learning how to do a business plan and so on. But um, anyway, so uh, we were there, and he, and he pulls up in this brand spanking new um, Sprinter van. It's the biggest one they have. He had the um, special floors put in the back because he's starting a delivery business. And uh, he even had them put this cage um, in between the, the back and, and the two front seats in the Sprinter van. And he was like, hey, hey Pascal, hey, man, I got my new, I got my new van. And you know, I told you I was going to get it. And uh, dude tells me, he goes, he paid no money down. Zero, nada, not a penny, no money down, and it, he said he signed his name 15 times on behalf of the corporation, and it was no PG, no personal guarantor. So, yeah, corporate credit works like a mug, right? Um, you know, because it's a, I think he said a, it's like $55,000 for that man, because it's literally the biggest one that they had. Um, it's the biggest, the longest, the highest, the mo I think it's like a, um, like a, the engine, like a, I don't know, like it's a, it's a bigger engine in there. And, um, and, and he has them do all that extra, you know, work on the inside for his business. So the point is corporate credit works like a month. And the, the information that I'm going to send over to you, although it's dated, right? You know, you know it, is, it still works the same way. You're just going to have to use different companies, but the companies that are out there are just, oh, my God, they're, they're just a wreck of them. And, and you have, like, Mr. Google on your hands. You know, I mean, people are so afraid of, um, of, of Googling stuff. It amazes me. I make money, quite frankly, because... People won't research. They won't go on Google and type something in five or ten or fifteen different ways until you get the freaking answer that you want. You know, and it's just crazy to me that I'm very thankful that people won't do that because by them not doing that, it means that I can make money off of them. You know, and, and just look, I'm gonna have to Google something like like as I just mentioned, five or 10 or 15 different times to actually get something um, that I'm looking for, to get the thing. Because with Google, whether you, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's based or set up in a certain way that it'll say like, uh, maybe you're searching for this or maybe, and so you got to try the next thing and then you try the next thing and, until you get what you want, right? It's, it's just there. It's there. The information is there. So you can find every single company that, that offers, um, corporate credit on the planet, on Google, if you take the time and do some due diligence. But 
a lot of the companies that, that are in that information are active, current, doing their thing. And I'm going to send you guys because that's where I glean my information from. So I'm going to give you guys that. So don't forget. And then, and I'm only going to say this a few more times because we had some more people come on the call. Um, you got to text me before 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, meaning California time, and I'll send you all my shit, everything that I use currently to make money. And so now that um, – oh, and the, and the other thing is I'm also going to send you um, uh, the corporation game, right? Simple, 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 simple. Uh, I'm going to give you um, my girl, Rita, um, at um, – where I have my, uh, all right, man, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you Rita's number. You can talk to her. You can tell her Pascal said she, she is one of the most lovely human, human beings that exist, right, period. Now, their company has changed a lot in the sense that they're trying to, you know, they've laid off a bunch of people and they want people to do stuff online. But what I'm going to say to you is um, I would deal with Rita directly and, um, if you're if you're savvy about doing things online, go okay, do that. Um, but what I would say to you is is call Rita, introduce yourself, um, and I, I'm going to send you the company and the you know all of this stuff. I'm going to send you where you can get uh, seasoned corporations from. There's a company that is bomb, 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 and they do what they say they're going to do um, at least 90% of the time about um, seasoned corporations. And, and so I'm going to give you all that stuff, and you guys can make money off of all this crap. I don't care. Now, with all of that said, now I'm going to say to you why I'm doing this, right? So the reason I'm doing this is simply because that stuff does not define me, nor will it define you. Because you can have all the information in the world on everything from how to, you know, create nuclear fusion to how to sell, you know, $10 million the way, uh, you know, Frank Kern has done, you know, who's a, who's a big time marketer. And I'm just going to tell you guys, I'm giving you guys all this stuff and I, and I would love for you to do well with it. But the truth of the matter is, the vast majority of you that I'm going to send this stuff to won't do shit with it. It's going to collect dust, if you know, not in the literal, um, but, you know, it's going to collect dust in your computer, so to speak, right? On your, on your, on your whatever. It's, it's going to collect dust. You're not going to do shit with it. And I know that because the statistics are there to prove it out. I know that because my punk ass doesn't do, doesn't, doesn't go through the vast majority of stuff that I buy, right? I buy a shitload of information. Don't do anything with it. Spend thousands upon thousands of dollars per year. Don't do shit with it. And the statistics back in the day and even today are virtually the same. 97% of the people that buy products, right? The statistic came out back in the day when, when everybody was a real estate guru and the Dave Delgados of the world and the, you know, um, what's that dude's name from, um, ah, I don't know. I can't think of all the, all the different gurus that were out there back in the day. But there was a st statistic, I can't even get the word out of my mouth. There was a statistic that 97% of the people that would buy these, these these packages, and back then they were very expensive because shit wasn't done online. They were mailing you, or you'd have to go to a seminar and, and get this big box of crap. Um, and, you know, there were, they were, you know, 300, 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2 grand, right, for these, for these products that... What, what was found back then and still applies today, even though things are sent across your, 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 uh, are downloaded to your computer, is that 97% of the people is absolutely nothing. They won't even open the freaking, you know, the link. 
they won't do anything because because we right because we're conditioned and trained to 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 act and respond in a certain way. We are hot for something. We buy it. Oh my God! Oh my God! I got you know this is the bomb. This is gonna make me rich. This is gonna do this. This is gonna do that. All this bullshit, right? We we just this is how we think. This is how we feel. Oh my, we're hyped. We're we're ready for it, right? And so when we buy it, we 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 might read. Um, the the initial whatever, where, you know, some kind of some welcome bullshit, right? We'll read that. We'll go, oh, oh okay, okay. Well, uh, uh, let me let me get my dinner in. Let me let me go to work. Let me, you know, take a shower. Let me, you know, do this. Let me do that. We st- then we start creating. We start creating things artificially because our subconscious. Our physical, right, doesn't want to do that shit because we're not readers. We're not readers. We're, we're you know, we, we can barely listen to something unless it's something we can, you know, like, like, like uh, tap our feet to or, and, and, you know, some bullshit like that. It, we're, we, right, as a society, aren't readers. We're, that's not what we do. You know, and we, and if, it, if it's something that we, in 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 our psyche, in our subconscious, if if it's if it's something that we consider to be laborious, right? You know, work. Which after we buy this shit, we automatically once we say to ourselves, "We got to do it," and it doesn't, it's not going to bring instantaneous joy to our lives. But it's it's a labor. Does that make sense to you guys? It's a, it becomes it becomes a chore, and I'm not saying that if this is just you all, it's me. That's why giving away all this shit means nothing, because it, it has it has nothing. And you know, and I'm hoping, I'm really truly 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 hoping that you guys take this stuff and that you guys move some of your personal financial mountains out of your way with the information that I'm going to give to you, right? But the truth of the matter is I have come to the conclusion that every time I have any type of success, every time that I have any type of of, of come up, right, it has nothing to do with the material that I have, absolutely nothing. Obviously. It helps, but it, it, it ultimately, it could have been something else, another bit of material that has nothing to do with this bullshit. You guys, are you guys, you see, and that's what's important, is that we have to start understanding that whether, whether we're going to sell um, real estate, whether we're going to sell cars, whether we're going to sell um, um, books and tapes and, and information on whether we're going to sell ourselves. It, it literally, literally has absolutely nothing to do with the material. It has everything to do with you. It has everything to do with me. Because when I have, when I have, um, Fuck. When I have when I have been in my most desperate states, right? So, oh my God, everything is going wrong. You know, the the this fear leaves me, and I just make stuff happen because I don't have a choice, right? Because I don't want to end, end up on the street. I don't want to be freaking homeless. I don't want to be, you know, broke, busted, and disgusted. I don't want to do that shit. So. You know, the fear leaves me, the comfortability leaves me, and my fat ass gets out and I start doing stuff because I have no choice. It's not the material. So I'm going to give you guys all this stuff, and I'm telling you right here, right now, I want you to utilize it in some fashion or form to either help propel yourself or, or use it to make money off of it because that's why I'm giving it to you. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it means absolutely nothing unless you're willing to propel yourself. At the end of the day, it means absolutely nothing unless you're willing to get out of your own way. Absolutely nothing. Because somebody can give you a million dollars, $50 million, 
$100 million. It doesn't matter. You can be right back in the same position you're in today. And the reason that happens, and you know how I know that this is a true fact, is because we have a thing called the lottery. And, and with the lottery, I watch all these stories because I intend on winning the lottery one day, right? I, that, is, that is something, that is a real thing for me. I, I know it. I feel it. You know, I mean, and I don't want, I don't want, you know, I'll take anything. So let me, re, 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 let me correct that. I'll take any damn thing, right? Give me five thousand dollars. Give me, you know, like the guy who, uh, the gardener guy, he on a scratcher, he won um, five grand, right? So you know, it's only going to take seven weeks to get my money. I'm like, you know, who cares? You got five grand, you know? Well, then you're going to take taxes now, but nonetheless, that's money you didn't have. So believe me, I'll take you whatever. But in my mind, I'm, I'm, I envision myself, you know, somebody giving me millions of dollars, right? That's what I want, millions of dollars. And so if, if that does occur for the last 15, 20 years that I've been playing the lottery, however long it's been around, I have um, um, created a plan for myself. Right? How, what, you know, and, and, and I, I, I have this thing where I don't do it all the time, but I always try to, when I buy my lottery ticket, I write my name on the back of that ticket like it's, like it's a ticket that I'm going to have to turn into the, um, into the, into the office. Or if I lose my wallet or something else, no one can you take my winning ticket. I write my shit on the back of those tickets. I write my name, my date of birth, my address, my this, that, and the other, whatever. And whatever's required. I put that on there because one of my tickets are going to be a winner one day, right? And so it, it's it's all about that mental attitude. It has nothing to do with the with the product or service that you're offering. You know, when I decided to start pushing again in this arena of um um you know develop you know, business and developing um um people right helping them um, you know grow their personal and their and their and their entrepreneurial dreams right with starting with this power money mastermind thing and and actually so like a year before that I started pushing really hard you know on this adventure you know I didn't have shit I didn't have shit I had a concept, I had an idea, I had a thought. And I was able to take that concept, idea, and thought and, and, and push it into the formless energy, right? We'll call it whatever you want to, you know, because different people look at things differently. But I was able to push my thought outside of myself into the world and then start getting clients. Is this, is this making sense to you guys? So it has... It, it, it's not the, 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 the product or service. It's, it's the choice that I made to start acting upon that product or service that I decided is going to be what I'm going to put out there in the world. Does that make sense to you guys? That's why I don't have any fear because, you know, one of the reasons people don't share stuff is because it, because it, they, they have this fear like, oh, my God, if I tell you what my get down is, if I tell you what I know, then you're going to be my competition. You know, the whole time I've been in. Um, like this, the, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the credit, the credit privacy number CPN business. You know, I, I've never, ever, 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 ever bothered calling anybody that's, that's a competition, supposedly, or, or whatever. Cause I never gave a shit. I, I just didn't care. Because they were my competition, you know, and it wasn't like I was doing it on purpose. I just, probably cause I just didn't care. But what I've come to realize, is that the only competition I've ever had, and that's why I've done what I, is is me. Let me just go back to that. The only competition I've ever had is me, right? How much effort I put into something is how much return I get financially. And I would notice that because when, when I'm putting out zero effort, you know, I get some money coming in because I've been in the game for a while. But when I put out more effort, then all of a sudden I get so much more um, financial reward. Does, does that make sense? You know, and, and it, so I, I'm like, God, Doug, I mean, it's, it's, 
it's it always bounces back to Pascal and whatever Pascal is doing or whatever I Pascal should be doing, right? The information that I offer means nothing. I you know the, my in my program, my thirty to three hundred thousand dollar program. There is nothing sexy about it. I don't have any of the bells and whistles. I don't have you know like this bomb ass website that people go to and they go. Oh man, I mean, it's like you log into the website and you this and you that and yada yada, all this other stuff. I don't have none of that, right? And to be honest, I don't even plan on having it. I will create a nicer website, but all that external stuff, all the bells, I don't think it really means anything. So what I want to offer people constantly and continuously is Pascal. Because, you know, I've done the math. At $5,000 a person, Every 10 people is 50 rare. If I can do, um, you know, 20, 30 people a year, that's 150. If I, if I can do, if I can do maybe 100 people a year, right? I'm, 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 you know, I'm doing big stuff. And the thing is, in this arena, 100 people is nothing. It's literally nothing. Because the truth of the matter is, if I talk to all 100 people every 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 week, and I schedule it out, it, it's, that's that's nothing out of my time frame, right? I mean, literally, it's nothing, and it's so much easier than everything else that I'm doing. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Because the, the thing is, is that you give people information and you give them conversation. And you give them your knowledge base. That, that's why I'm pushing in this direction so heavily. You give them your knowledge base. And everybody on this call has knowledge base. Everybody on this call has access to whatever it is that you're talking to, talking to somebody and they want to know. Everybody does because you have Google. Everybody on this call, I know you're on this call um, um, because you received an email from me. Meaning that you have internet access, meaning that you can provide any service that you so desire. So I, right, by giving away this information to you, it it actually is empowering me in teaching me and telling me that all this crap that I I I profess to believe in has to be true. Because if I'm able to give away my best and still know that it can't affect me, then I'm the crap. I'm, I'm well, you know, we used to say, oh, you're the shit. You know, I'm, I'm that. I'm the shit. I'm, I'm the bomb, right? Because I'm able to give away my best and not care because it means nothing. Because ultimately, it comes down to what I choose to do, how I choose to, to grow and be me. Right? I can have a gazillion other people out there as as quote unquote competition, but in at the end of the day I'm my own I, I am my own competition. I my mouth, my brain, right, is what makes me Pascal Dominique Mansell. It's what separates me from you. And your mouth and your brain is what separates you from me. And that ultimately is what people are looking for, right? They're looking for you. They're looking for me. And then the product that I offer, the service that I offer, comes along with that. Does, it, does, it, does that make sense to anybody on this call? Yes. Good. Yes. So, good. Good. So, you know, I, I want everyone, if if at all possible, to start thinking in terms of it's 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 you, it's me, it's we, right? It's 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 the collective, it's 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 the community. You know, sharing, giving your best. To your community, it's a good look. It's a great look. Mm -hmm. Understanding that 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 your power, your your wealth, your ability to create, to manifest, 
is all you. It's not the stuff. Because you can choose, I can I can literally choose tomorrow to get into some other into just some other industry, right? And and I can't promise that I'm going to do well in it, but I can literally make that choice tomorrow, and I can literally thrive. And I'm not saying that I'm going to do bomb numbers in it, but I could I could if if I said that this is it, I'm I'm going to focus 100% into this whatever it is, and I'm going to push all my energy into that thing, I can, I'm, I'm probably can make a living at it, right? So it's not the thing. I mean, obviously, some things are better than other things, y'all. But ultimately, it is, it's me. It's Pascal. And, and by, I can't be afraid to give away to my community, which is you all on this call, the best of me. Because I am my competition, not you. And, and the only thing that, that, that would keep me from doing that is fear. The only thing that I can think of that would keep me from doing that is fear, and fear is a lie, right? And, and I don't want to live in fear. I don't want to live in lack. I, I just don't want to do that anymore. I mean, I do it because I'm human. But I'm working towards moving out of that mindset. I'm working towards moving out of out of the mindset of fear, uh, out of the mindset of lack. Because I know that that holds me back. You might think of it in a different way, but I'm just telling you all what what I believe works for Pascal. And so we, I believe, we, you know. We need to start doing a mind shift. We need to start changing because the material is just that, right? It's good material. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's not good material. I've, I've been very thankful, you know, and I, I literally try to make it a point to say every single day, you know, I miss days, right? But I literally try to make it a point to say every day, you know, how thankful I am right? And I say it verbally, out loud, you know, I, just, I say, thank you. Thank you so much for everything that I have, everything that I've been given. Because it means something to be thankful for what you have. I don't know really what your scenario is. It means something to be thankful. You know, when I do my... um my my you know people refer to it as prayer i refer to it as the verbal meditation you know you can refer to it for whatever you want to you know I, I was listening to napoleon hill the other day and one of the things that that he said that really caught my attention was he was saying that it doesn't matter your religion it doesn't matter your belief system but when you're praying, and the only thing that you're ever talking about is on the negative stuff, your, your prayer for the positive is not going to come true. Oh, Lord, I'm sick. I'm dying. Please help me. Where's your mind going? Your mind goes to the sickness, to the death. Right? We, it, it, it's, you're, you're not, you're not, you're not pushing into the into the. Uh, you know, for me it's universal law, but for you it's whatever. But you're 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 you're, you're focusing on the negative, and that's bad. In in any circumstances, that's bad. If, if you know, the other day, I'm I'm going down the road. I, um, my wife's in the car. And um, this this guy, you know, I, for whatever reason, we're at this four-way stop. I take off. I know it's a little off topic, but I want to – it means something for me to say to you all this. <clears throat> um, so uh, there's this big, you know, 18-wheeler, and it's taking off from the four-wheel stop. And and I'm waiting to see if dude's gonna go right because the, the you know the 18 wheeler is next to me and I'm I look over at the guy's car he's not moving so I'm like screw it and so 
I pull out alongside the 18 wheeler to just, you know, going straight. I hear somebody honk their horn. So does this guy. Then he pulls up next to me, mumbling a bunch of stuff. And so, you know, the first thing I do is I'm like, what the fuck? You, what? you know what I mean? I go into this, this, this mode, right? And I'm like, I know this mode, so I'm mean, not, you know, um, talking shit. Just that this this just like click, I I just I I I flipped, and so dude kind of pulls up and away from me. So we both make this left, go up this you know up over this bridge, and you know so I made it a point, mind you, I made it a point to pull up next to dude and I started waving and smiling at him to antagonize him. I mean, I'm literally antagonizing him because I'm like, if you're going to talk shit, don't think you can just, you know, mouth a bunch of stuff. Well, I don't even know what he was even saying, but he was like, just like mad dogging me. He was angry. And I was like, bitch, please. Right? So I'm, I'm in, my, in my emotions. I'm in my feelings at that point. And so it ends up being this thing where he followed me. I followed him. He followed me. And my wife says, Pascal, I thought you weren't going to do that anymore. Right? She says, Pascal, I thought you weren't going to do that anymore. And I was like, damn. I got my wife in the car. I'm willing to jump out of my car. Right? And no telling what could happen. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, what, what level are you on right now? What is your frequency? What is your frequency? And I, I just, I had to really, and it made me feel bad, which is a good thing, right? So I ended up going, okay, well, you know, we got to go to the post office. I literally missed my turn. I was, I was so into, into, um, getting with this dude, right? I was so into that that I even missed my turn to go to the post office. And I'm like, all right, dude, you, you know. Okay, you flipped. You flipped, but you know you, you know, get right. Get right. So I'm like, all right. So I get into the, into, um, um, I make this left, I mean, I'm sorry, a right, following him now. And then he starts to try to follow me. And I'm like, okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm off of this. I'm off of this. And so my energy changes, not instantaneously, but my energy changes. And then, you know, dude, instead of, like, getting behind me, he goes to the far left lane, and I make my turn. And then I started feeling bad, literally bad, about the whole incident. And I was feeling bad because I allowed myself to get in mentally – Go to go to a place that just doesn't make any damn sense. And then, more importantly, as I thought about it, I started thinking to myself, um, a couple of things actually. One of the funniest thing to me was I started thinking, and Pascal, what's your old fat ass going to do jumping out of a car? I was like, I was like, dude, have you lost your mind? You know, you're going to be winded in like two seconds, right? That was number one. And then, uh, which was funny to me, so it made me smile. And then I, then I started thinking, what an asshole I am for, you know, creating provocation with this person. And I don't know what has happened in his day. He could have just lost his job, right? He could have just got divorced. He could have, he could have all kinds of things. It doesn't even matter. What mattered was is that I changed my frequency. I changed my level of energy to participate in something like that. And I'm not saying you don't protect yourself, but I'm saying that at the end of the day, if anything had happened, it would have been my doing, right? Because I easily could have let that guy just roll on, and that would have been the end of that. But I, I was... I flipped into a state of provocation. So 
the reason that this is important, I know it sounds like I went off on a tangent, but the reason that this is important is because we control so much of our destiny. We don't have to act or respond, excuse me, in the, in the, in the manner in which, you know, we've been trained, the manner in which we've been told, you know. We can be so much greater than what we have been in the past, what we were 30 seconds ago, right? And, and, and so once you catch that, once you understand that, you understand that it, it, is, it is every part of your existence that that can be. Once that, once that was over and once I went through that, that mental shift in my mind from, from this angry, retarded asshole to a person of common, not common, but a person of, of higher energy. I was going to say common sense, but a person, you know, working with a higher energy level. I mean, my day, not immediately, but my day started changing. I hugged myself, literally. I wrapped my arms around myself and I said, you know, I love you, Pascal. Right? Because I heard, I heard that long time ago. And I'm telling you, every time I do it, it makes me smile. I, I heard this guy talking. He was like, hug yourself. Hug yourself. It'll make you smile. Right? And every time I do it, it makes me smile. I just, I hug myself and I say, I love you, Pascal. Because it changes my energy. It changes my flow. And then once that started occurring and I started, cha you know, reshifting my energy, then I started getting calls from people. Say, hey man, um, look, I, you know, you don't remember me, but I'm X Y Z person. I want to do this with you. I want to do that. I got some money for you. I started, I, you know, you know what I mean. And I was, I was, look, you guys can believe this crap or not, but I'm just telling you that energy shift for me changed. In in it 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 literally opened me up to the possibilities of good stuff happening, right? And now, if I had not had that incident, I would have been moving in status quo. So I'm not saying the incident was a good thing. I'm saying that that incident propelled me into having to have a, a higher frequency, a, a higher love for myself and desire for my good, right? So, but other, if I had not had that incident, and I'm not saying it's a good thing that it occurred, but what I'm saying is, is that I pushed myself into a different level, into a different frequency. And, and what I know for a fact is I have pushed myself into that different frequency when I've needed money, Right? You know, typically, is it's a scenario where something, right, so the desire for money, because I have bills to pay, or the desire, uh, or, uh, you know, to change my emotional state, or, you know, it's, it's like usually it's, it, it comes on because I have a certain desire to, to change, and so I push myself into a higher frequency, into a, into a greater level of being, if you will. and. I've seen it over and over and over, just just over and over and over, not just with myself, but with other people. I've seen where, where I've taught people stuff, and they're in a desperate state of affairs, and within months, it's, it's almost like magic, within months, they're balling to a degree, and then months more, they're balling out of control, right? Unfortunately, most of them become assholes, and then they, you know, um, they start cheating people out of their money because they, they know they can because they're, you know what I'm saying? And then they always fall after that. But the point is, is that whether, whether it's the material I'm giving you or something else that you choose to do, it is imperative that you push. You don't need to have something happen like being broke. Being in, in, you know, almost getting into a fight, all this other stuff, you know, or being in a state of desperation, it, it is it is within us, within me, within you, to push or propel yourself 
into a greater state of mind, right? And and act upon that greater state of mind. So I, I intentionally, um, prior to getting on the call, so I was a little late because of that, but I, I, there's, there's three things I wanted to give you guys the defin, the, I'm sorry, the dictionary definition of. Okay, so and the first one is thought, uh, and and it, it's very 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 simple. So thought is an idea or opinion produced by thinking or occurring suddenly in the mind. The action process of thinking, right? So I'm I'm not going to go through a bunch of explanation on this, but I, it's important that you guys catch that. Look it up for yourself, okay? So the next one that I want to give you guys the definition of is action, right? So action, the fact or process of doing something typically to achieve an aim. So this is, if you just Google uh, the words, this will come up, right? So you see how these two go together? The thought, what I just read, and then action, the thought, right? Thought, thought, you gotta look that up. Then action, it's just, it's like, it's power. Action, the fact or process of doing something, typically to achieve an aim. And the last one is faith, okay? So, and all three of these go together, and if you utilize them together, it's power, right? So, faith. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Catch it? So those three things you guys need to look up. I'm sorry? Got it. Faith is cool. important. It's because you're believing in something so wholeheartedly knowing that it's going to manifest and come when it's due time. It does. So there you go. Anybody else want to add to that? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Awesome. How what are you doing? Great. I'm excited. Thank you for the call, as always, because uh, you don't have to do this. And the information that you gave, so true. Um, it's just who you are, so kind. So you put out there because, you know, most people are not going to use it, which is true. The statistics are true. We give out things for free, and we're like, eh, because it's for free. But when you have something invested in it, you're like, oh, crap, I paid, you know, a 100 a 1000 whatever that monetary value means to you, then that means to, something to you. So that actually, let me say something. Stuff. That, that, that's not even true because even even I myself have bought things, and most people. That's what the statistic was from, actually, not from the giveaways, but from the stuff that people have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on. That was the statistic. Is ninety seven percent of the people that spend money from wherever, right, on some kind of package or something that, uh, you know, a business or self-enhancement or whatever, 97% don't, don't even, you know, open the package, so to speak. And then out of that 3% that's left, it, it, you know, I can go through the other numbers, but the, the bottom line is it's less than a fraction of a percent that will actually do something with the stuff that they have, fail a little bit, and then keep on pushing until they actually do it. A fraction of a percent actually will open the package or, or, or you know, read the information on their desktop, laptop, uh, and, and, and push it until it works. A fraction of a percent. And that's people that are buying stuff because it is, it is within our nature. You know, we, we have to start becoming a contrarian and doing opposite from what, what we have been doing. So I, I didn't really want to interrupt you, but I wanted to make it make that clear that the uh, that those statistics were based upon people buying stuff, not not people just getting stuff. People that get stuff is even worse, I'm sure. Correct. So yeah, sorry about what that. I was going to what I was going to finish, hey. and you're absolutely hey. correct. Was I bought programs fifteen thousand dollars? Um, that was about the most that I paid. I did finish the course and I went through it, but I didn't get to utilize right so even though we get free stuff that's that's 
the worst stuff and it, it, it's all on the mindset right so if you want to in your mind going to take advantage of the free stuff you do if you're not you're like eh, i'll put it there because it's just not as important to you and then the stuff that you buy you're like yeah at the moment yes oh i'm gonna do this I'm gonna do. and then by the time it gets to your house <laughs> a week later you're like uh well i'll get to it something else became more important even though you paid for it something else became more important so you're absolutely true on that on the lottery i mean there's a cable program that they now shown people who won the lottery and are broke or even worse than where they were at so um you know it's not the money people say oh if i had this i will be this you have to get yourself right first in the mindset and it's great that you gave out the definition because it all starts with you and your mind and how you are, how you've been raised, how you think. If you don't get outside of yourself and some of the things, and you know, you know what those things are. People have told you and you're like, eh, or you tell yourself and you're like, eh, or, you know, you want to make a change, but, eh, you know, once again, you got to make it a point to get yourself right first. And as Tim's story says, before you can go left. You got hey, to get and I always say, hey, Pascal, hey, Pascal, Pascal, hey, 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 Pascal, thank you very much, man, appreciate the, uh, I mean, your conversation, I thought it was uh, really nice, I mean, really straight to the point, um, I really appreciate it, thank you, I'm not here to preach you, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you, you know my thinking, and uh, thank you. Really appreciate it. You're, you're welcome, sir, and thank you for, for coming on the call and listening to me. If someone else is saying something as well. I said to sum it all up, and good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I said... <laughs> <laughs> yes, the blessing today. <laughs> so I just added. Sometimes we all, and we're all guilty of this, but it's okay. I think we should get rid of our stinking thinking. That's what I tell myself all the time when I go down that road. If it's a new road or same road, something unfamiliar places, I usually just activate my faith, knowing that if I give it my all, it's definitely gonna work out because I consider myself a one. But how do you get to the A1? You take care of yourself first. Self is so key in everything we do in our lives. So usually so we true. just get rid of thinking, thinking. And it's just as simple as that. Anything that's a naysaying that's going to go against the grain for what you're out here accomplishing, because first off, you're accomplishing something fabulous, something great, something wonderful, and something that other people can grow from. So as soon as you put that stinking thing into the side, that's when doors just start to open, because now you're blocking the negative and you're making room for all the positives. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, well anyone else absolutely. have anything they want to add? Anybody else want to add anything? Please do. Because this is our call, y'all. This is our call. This is our community. And I want everyone to know that they can add in our community. Okay. Well, if no one else has anything to add, Excuse me, that doesn't work. As always, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for coming on the call and, you know, listening to me ramble. Um, it's, it's, it's empowering for me, and I hope it's empowering for you. It, it is a, a, a learning lesson for me, and I hope it is for you as well. And so uh, anyone who has texted me, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm going to send you all a whole lot of stuff, and, and I just I hope you all utilize, utilize it. I can't even talk. Um, I, I hope you guys utilize it to your, to your advantage. So that's it. That's all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, please, uh, you know, have an awesome day, week, and, you know, healthy, prosperous, weekday, month, all that good stuff. Talk to you later.
Take care, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Great. Ciao.